brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Joaquin Manabusan was just five years old when Japanese forces invaded. He vividly remembers marching with his mother alongside him to Menengen. That march started here in Maumong Totomaiti. He also bring me back when the American came in and uh, saved our island and our people. On the 75th liberation, he was joined by fellow survivors and the community to memorialize the site of the 5th Marine Field Service Depot, where many Chamorros sought refuge. Mayor Rudy Paco says it became a home in 1944 after the Japanese army overtook the capital. Elizabeth Manabusan carries with her the late memories of the time. I didn't really uh, know a lot because my dad was died during the war. I didn't even know my dad. Stories like Joaquin and Elizabeth's are at the center of this week's memorials. Mayor Rudy Paco says not all war stories end in tragedy. Consul General of Japan Izumi Seki says the Chamorro spirit persists. It's a milestone for us to uh, redetermine that, uh, to seek for their peace and uh, friendship with the people of Guam. Acting Governor Josh Tenorio's grandfather grew up in the village. He recounts hearing his stories of life after the war. This peace and friendship is a legacy that um, we, the descendants of the war survivors, have to be able to push forward. And we always have to remember what happened here. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Tomas Manglotnya. Brought to you by GTA, we start with you.